One of the most crucial steps to running a successful dropshipping business is product research. With the recent rise of AI technology, we now have a bunch of different resources at our disposal. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about, in particular, Google Lens. So if you want to learn how you can use Google Lens to be able to find best selling products for your dropshipping store, then make sure you stick around all the way to the end. Let's run that intro really quick and let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mario here with Out of DS. And if you like informative videos on the dropshipping business and tips, tricks, and strategies on how to be able to grow and scale yours, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Also in the description down below, I'm gonna have a link to a relevant article. So if you want a bit more detail, then you can go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and get started on learning how to use Google Lens to be able to start scaling our dropshipping business and find best selling products. So what exactly is Google Lens? Well, Google Lens is pretty much just Google, except instead of searching for phrases, you're gonna be searching for images. Google Lens is a super simple to use service that Google offers that uses image recognition technology to be able to search across the web for relevant images based off of the one that you're searching. So Google Lens is super simple to use and there's two different ways that you can use it. The first one is by downloading the mobile app and just searching up your images that way if you have the image on your phone. The other way is by searching up the image directly from your browser. So how do we get started using Google Lens for our dropshipping business? The first way that we can do this is by looking up products on competitors' websites. Now when you're looking up different products on different websites, it's kind of hard for you to know which ones are actually competitors. You can just go on over to something like Amazon and check their best sellers. At this point, Amazon is pretty much everyone's competitor as well as supplier. They have such a huge product catalog that honestly, looking through their best sellers, you're bound to find a winning product that you're able to backtrace, find their supplier and sell yourself for a profit. Now, in my case, I'm actually looking for something specific, in particular, a principal pet bandana. I want to add this product to my dropshipping store where I sell a bunch of different principal items. So I searched up the term on Etsy and I got a few different listings. Now this one's calling my attention, so let's check it out. So here we see that the seller is selling a small, medium, and a large bandana for about $4.25. Typically it's $5, but it's 15% off. Typical marketing strategy, always have your items on sale. All you really have to do to make up your costs is just increase the price of the item. Now clicking through all of them, the small, medium, and large, even the largest sold out, they are all for the same price of $4.25. Now, here comes the fun part. Let's find out where the seller is sourcing their suppliers from using Google Lens. So the first thing we wanna do is go on over and hover over the image, right click and simply just search image with Google. Then you're gonna have this little Google Lens pop up on the side and a bunch of different search results. Now remember that Google bases these search results and ranks them based on the relevance to the original image. So the closer that the image is or looks to the original one, the higher it's gonna rank in the search results. Google also takes into consideration different websites reviews such as Amazon. So if Google comes across a relevant list Thing that has a better review on Amazon than another one does, then it's also gonna rank higher. So now let's search through all of the different results and see which ones are from suppliers and which ones are from retailers. Now, how can you tell the difference between retailers and suppliers though? Well, for one, you can take a quick look at our supported suppliers list over at autods.com. Now, when differentiating the two, there are a few things that you wanna keep in mind. For one, you wanna make sure that they have an extensive product catalog. You don't want them to just have maybe 10 or 12 different products and that's it. That's not really a supplier. They're gonna run out quick and you're also gonna run out of products to offer. Another good thing to look out for is making sure that they have a bunch of different warehouses. A lot of local warehouses always ensures speedy delivery. Speedy delivery always ensures satisfied customers. Also, a lot of the times when you go to some of these suppliers' websites, they're gonna advertise themselves as dropshipper friendly. So that alone can tell you this is a supplier. Now, if for whatever reason, one day you find yourself looking up different products and it's in a different language, you don't have to worry about that. Google Lens also simplifies that by being able to offer you translation services. And another cool thing to note is you don't always just have to search images. If you ever wanna search text, all you have to do is highlight the desired text, right click, and same thing, search Google for X. Okay, so now let's finally find out where the seller is sourcing their products from. So let's go ahead and start scrolling. Again, since this is based on relevance, you're gonna see the higher ranked items first. You have the Amazon one for $9. That's a two pack. So it's actually pretty much the same price as this listing. Let's keep looking. Nope, you have one here through Alibaba and you have one through AliExpress. Let's check out the AliExpress one. So once you click it, it takes us to this page where it shows us that the price for this is actually $27.90 for 10 pieces with free shipping. Now, taking a quick look back at the seller's original page, you can see that, yeah, they do sell it for $4.25, but when it comes to shipping, you do get free shipping if you order over $35. For this particular item to my area, it comes out to $3.66. So in total, you're spending $3.66 plus the cost of the item, which is $4.25. They're selling it for a total of $7.91. Of course, that's not including any fees or anything else. Now, taking a look back at our supplier's website, we can see that they have different prices for the different 
and sizing. It starts off at $27.90 for the small and goes all the way up to $29.50 for the extra large. So this means for the 10 pack of the extra large, we're purchasing each one for a grand total of $2.95. That's already including the shipping. So there's a few different ways that we can go about this. For one, it looks like the seller could actually potentially be purchasing these by the case and then selling them individually themselves. But since we're drop shippers, we're not going to be doing that. We don't like to hold inventory. That's our supplier's job. We just fulfill orders. So in this case, what we can do instead of selling it by the piece, we can just sell it by the lot and offer it at a discount. Depending on the products that you're selling, it can be a very good idea to bundle them or sell them as bulk. For something like this in particular, people do like to purchase in bulk so that way they can get them at a cheaper price, print on them themselves, and then sell them individually. Selling in bulk also helps you rake in higher profits. So let's quickly take a look at how much we can potentially earn by selling this in bulk. So let's just assume that we're going to be selling it at the same price that the seller that we referenced to is selling it at. So it's going to be 450 times 10 of them. We're going to be selling each case for $45. Now it's up to us if we want to charge them for shipping or if we want to just include that in this pricing. Ultimately, if we do charge the buyer for shipping, then that could just be a bit more profit on our side because this listing in particular gives us free shipping. So let's say we're selling the case of 10 for $45. Let's go ahead and subtract the price of the extra large ones, which is going to be $29.50. And that's going to give us a potential profit of $15.50. Awesome. Now, thanks to Google Lens, we know exactly what product we're going to sell, where we're going to source it at, and what price we're going to sell it at. Next thing that we need to do is start importing that product into our store. Now, in order to do that, there's a couple of different ways that we can do it. The first one is the boring and very time consuming manual way of doing it, where I'm just going to download all of these images and copy over the titles, descriptions, and variations. But since we're dropshippers and we like to save as much time as we can to be able to start reinvesting that time to scale our businesses, we're going to go ahead and do this using automation and save a bunch of time. So first off, let's go ahead and copy over the link. Now we're going to head on over to our platform over at AutoDS and we're going to check out the stores that we're going to add it to. Right now, I'm just going to add it to my basic Shopify store. So now let's go ahead and click on add products and I'm going to import just this one product. So I'm going to click on single product. Now all I have to do here is paste my URL and I'm going to edit it just so I can optimize the title and make the description a bit more user friendly. Okay, so now on the product editing page, I can go ahead and optimize everything that I need. I can make the title a lot lot nicer looking, a lot easier to read and optimize it for SEO. On top of that, I can add this product to any of my collections. I can change the shipping method from either the cheapest, cheapest with tracking or the fastest with tracking. I can add any tags to it, check out the default city that it's shipping from, as well as the default country that it's shipping from. Then we can also go on over to the description and edit and optimize our description, change anything from the variants, edit any of the images that we need to, and just check out the item specifications. Once everything is optimized to my liking for either SEO or user readability, then I can go ahead and save an import to make it go live on my store within minutes. Now, when you're uploading these products and importing everything, remember, you're not limited to just uploading one at a time. You can always go back to add products. And if you have a bunch of different ones that you want to add, just click on multiple products. From here, you can add either all the different product URLs or product IDs. On top of that, you can also upload using a CSV file. Either way you choose to do it, our product import tool over at AutoDS makes it super simple and super quick to start importing all of your products in a flash. Now, really quick, one last thing that I do want to show you when it comes to the product importing is if you randomly come across a product on Amazon, let's say that you want to import into your store, then you're going to see this little floating icon over here that says import to AutoDS. If you don't have that, all you have to do is download the AutoDS Chrome extension. The link for that will be down in the description below. So all you have to do here is click import to AutoDS and that's it. Next time you go to your AutoDS platform, it's going to be under the draft section. So that's pretty much all you need to know about finding best selling products using Google Lens and selling them on your dropshipping store. Now you're not done just yet. The next thing that you have to do is just continue growing and scaling your dropshipping business. If you want to keep finding success in dropshipping, then you really do want to start scaling your business as much as possible. And one of the easiest ways to do that is by implementing automation. Now, automation doesn't limit you to just being able to automatically import your products. Using something like AutoDS, you're able to automate pretty much your entire business process. For one, you have things like price and stock monitoring. So if a supplier ever raises a price or runs out of a particular item, you're going to know. On top of that, we also have inventory management. With this feature, AutoDS is able to automatically update all of your inventory quantities to match your suppliers. So if your supplier ever runs out, you don't have to worry about accidentally selling a few different pieces and having to contact your customer to either cancel the order or finding a different supplier to fulfill the order. If you want a bit more detail on any of these automation techniques, then just check out the description down below. I'm going to have a link there to all the relevant information. Now, I want to know if you've actually used Google Lens before. Have you used it in the same way that I mentioned in this video? Or do you have your own unique way of doing things? Whatever it is, just let me know down in the comments below. Huge thank you to everyone for being here with me today. I really appreciate all of you watching. Once again, my name is Mario 
there with AutoDS and I wish all of you nothing but success in your dropshipping journeys. Remember, if you ever need any help with anything, we're here for you over at AutoDS with a bunch of different resources such as our AutoDS blogs and this YouTube channel. So if you did find any of the information in this video helpful and useful, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as leave a like and I'll catch you all in the next video.